Hey everybody, so there's been a team that's off to a really bad stock that's kind of not many people are talking about. For, uh, it's starting a pick up, the talk is starting a pick up, but it's kind of odd, you know, everyone's been laying into the Rangers and Canadians. The Edmonton Oilers are 1-4-0. Oh. They've, they've won one game. Um, this team's off to a terrible start. And it, it's very surprising because they, they were thought to be one of the best teams in the league and a Stanley Cup contender. And it doesn't this doesn't mean that they're not. They can still easily turn it around. But it's just it's odd to me that no one's really been talking about them. And I think they've kind of gotten it easy so far because they, they're thought to be so good. So a lot of people are like, oh, it's just the first few games. They'll be fine. They're going to turn it around because they're a really good team. But, um, yeah, this is, they're, they've not played well so far. And, um, you know, this is a team that I picked to be the President's Trophy winner. I picked to be easily a Stanley Cup contender, uh, maybe even win the Stanley Cup. Um, they're, they're supposed to be a really good team and, you know, even better than they were last year. And that's not been the case so far. They've struggled on, they've struggled defensively. They've struggled offensively. Um, their goaltending hasn't been up to par. It's just not been a good start. Um, they lost last night to Carolina 5-3. to three. Uh, it, They got down by a lot early. They, they were down 4-1. Then they stormed back to make it 4-3, but they couldn't complete the comeback, and they lost. So, um, yeah, it's just not been good. It's not been good, and for a team with very high expectations going into this year, um, they, they need to fix it, and they need to fix it fast. Uh, not, not Leon Drysaddle out with a concussion. That's not helpful at all. Um, that's a big part of their team on injured reserve. But even without Drysaddle, they should have the depth and you know the overall roster to be a very good team, even with a few injuries. Um, but so far, it's not so far not good. Um, their next, their next few games don't really get any easier either. Um, they have to go to Chicago, then to Philly, then to Pittsburgh, and then they come home and they have Dallas and Washington. So there, there are no easy games at all in their next five. They're, um, you know, they could conceivably only win one of those games or even lose all of those games. I don't think they're going to lose f all those games and end up 1 and 9. That's probably not going to happen. They might go 2 and 3. They might go 2 and 3 over the next 5 and that would make them 3 and 7 overall. Not good. You'd like to see them go at least 3 and 2, maybe even 4 and 1 in those games, but they're all really tough games. I mean, Chicago, again, one of the best teams in the league. Philadelphia, off to a pretty good start and a very good start at home. Pittsburgh, defending Stanley Cup champion, great team. Dallas, thought to have thought to be a contender in the Central Division, got off to a bad start, but it, uh, seemed to have tur uh, be turning that around. And then Washington, not a great team, but a good team certainly capable depending on how their top players play so you look at that schedule and I mean you can't just pick out any games there and be like that yeah, they, they're gonna win that but, you know there's no coyotes on the schedule there's no um, avalanche anything like that even though Colorado is off to a good start the, the, that's gonna come to an end um, so yeah, I just want to mention Edmonton because a lot of people have been talking about teams that have gotten off to really bad starts that were thought to be good. You know, everyone's been laying into the Rangers and Canadians really for most of this season since these bad starts have happened. And Edmonton seems to almost be getting a pass. Because I think it's because people think that they're that it's just it's just a bad start they'll turn around and be fine but uh 
nothing's a given. Uh, I don't think I think Edmonton will turn it around for sure, but they can't just you know come in and expect that. They need to force that turnaround to happen by playing hard, playing well, being focused, and you know playing good defense and scoring goals. So that's about it. I just want to mention the Oilers. Um, really odd to see. That was a team I think people expected to come flying out of the gate the way Toronto did, where Toronto now is first place and really, really good. I think people expected Edmonton to be first place and really, really good, and it hasn't happened so far. But season's still young, long way to go. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Spread the word. We want this channel to grow. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.